welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is anastasia my eye contact is really bothering me right now if you are new here my name is anastasia i post fashion beauty and lifestyle related content in today's video if you read the title you would know that today is a special day because i got a new camera i was supposed to vlog when i got a new camera if you watched my last video then you would know that i planned on vlogging this special moment but things didn't go as planned i didn't know i was gonna get the camera today but i ended up getting it yeah so basically in this video i'm about to show y'all like the camera the quality compared to my phone which is what i'm recording on right now the features on it and that good stuff so first i'm gonna start out showing you guys the camera um i already unboxed it because i was being a thirsty mcgirsty had to open it up as soon as i came home first i'm gonna show y'all the camera and what came in the box and then i'm gonna get on the camera and start recording and then show you guys how that quality looks so yeah so it came with these this is in, like an instruction book it came with that this little paper i don't know what this is how you gonna throw it away anyways i don't know what this is but it came with this too okay that was it so yeah let me show you guys the camera this is the box that it came in so this is the camera it is a what is this it's a canon power shot sx740 sx740 hs so a canon power shot sx740 hs that's what the name of the camera is it's kind of long so i'm just call it a canon it's my vloggy vlog camera the one that i initially wanted was the canon power shot gx mark ii or something like that that's like the vlog camera that almost every not almost every but most youtubers have that camera so i'm like okay i want to start out with that start off with that one but then i seen this one and like the only difference is this one was really it was cheaper like 200 dollars cheaper this one was um 400 and the other one was 600 to 700 i think this is my first camera so i just wanted to start out with something like this it's kind of cheap and it has decent quality compared to my phone that i'm using and even though it's not better than the gx mark ii it's still a good start with something let me show you guys the sd card i just got a sand disc one uh, by the way i got this camera from best buy you can get the same camera on amazon and walmart I do recommend that because when you order with them you get extra stuff like a freaking tripod um you get some of these memory cards and uh i think two batteries i don't know but it comes with more stuff for a cheaper price versus buying it from best buy and just getting the camera and the charger but i had to buy it from best buy because i actually put it on a lease so i got this sandisk it's only 64 gigabytes just to start and this is what it looks like if it will focus focus baby can you focus on me let me stop but um yeah i already had the sim card in dang how you how you put it back in don't do this to me right now okay there it is got it in now okay now i'm gonna show you with the I mean not with now i'm going to show you guys the battery that it came with it came with this charger thing and it just plugs into the wall and it will be red when it's charging and then green when it's all full and you this is the battery this is what it looks like and you just stick it in there and plug it up to the wall and then when it's charged put it back in the camera I am gonna get probably more batteries in the future, but this one will do for the meantime. Let me just show you guys um, the camera. So I turn it on at the top. Also my favorite thing about this camera, I really wanted a camera that has this like flip screen so that I can like, you know, see myself, make sure like the angle is right and all that type of stuff, which is what I was looking for in the GX Mark Seven. Like I keep forgetting the name of the other camera, but the GX camera. This one is just a little bit cheaper. That one is just a little bit better. So yeah, so I'm just gonna turn it on. And then, oh, I need to put the battery in it. How am I gonna turn it on with no battery? It should be pretty charged. I've had it on the charger for like an hour and a half, maybe two hours. So I'm just gonna stick the battery in, whichever way it goes. Goes in at the bottom of the camera. Over here. 
close that up. Okay, now I'm gonna turn it on. This thing pops out as you can see. I literally love it, like I can't wait to use it. I'm actually gonna film my first video tonight. So yeah, that should be out in like a week, I don't know. The flash thing, you have to like pull this thing on the side and the flash pops out. This is how you take the pictures up here. You can take pictures on this camera with this button. And these are like up here different modes that you can put the camera in to film in. Back here, wait, let me turn it off because I don't want to be showing okay so back here it just has like the flash button the flower button is like autofocus or something like that the brightness button is at the top and the info button and then there's some other buttons where you can see the pictures you took and everything like that so a lot of people said that it was a really good camera for a start so that's exactly what i needed also i forgot to tell you guys it came with this little this little thing thing but anyways i watched the reviews and they said that they downloaded this app, what was it called? It was called Camera. Okay, so the app was called Camera Connect. So I haven't even opened it. I opened it one time and then exited out because I'm like, let me open it with YouTube so they can see like how it works. So I haven't even looked, I haven't even seen. So yeah, we can do that part together. <laughs> now I'm gonna go get on the camera so you guys can see the difference between the quality. Okay, y'all, so I'm in the same setting, the same lighting, and this is what it looks like, as you can see. Let's get a, no, let's, let's not get a close-up, because I still need to figure out, like, the different... Like, I know you can, like, auto blur the background and things like that. Let me try to do that. Okay, there we go. I changed the background to auto blur, so this is probably how I'm going to film a lot of the time, because I like when it looks like that on YouTube, so... This is what it looks like. Let me go to a mirror so you guys can see in like different lighting. So yeah, let me show y'all. Okay guys, so this is how it looks in the mirror. I have it a little bit zoomed up. Let me try to zoom it out a little bit. Yeah, this is how it looks. I wish my face would focus more. Like what is wrong with it? Maybe the camera's focusing, that's why. Yes, focus on my face, focus on my face. Get it together. I'm loving this new lifestyle, this new chapter. Let me go. I don't know how this is going to work because... Let me zoom this out. Yeah. What was I about to say? I need to hook up the camera to the Wi-Fi in order for the app to work. So I might not be able to do what I initially planned to do, which is screen record the app and show you guys the app. So... I need to find a plan B. So I actually can't put my camera on my ring light because I'm going to show you guys it's too small. I ordered the wrong one and I just haven't got a new one but my dad is actually going to order me a new one so yay for that. But I'm going to show you guys why. Well I can't really show you why but I'm just going to show you guys my ring light and it doesn't fit okay. And I kind of broke the top piece off of it so yeah don't judge me for my broken ring light this is what it looks like it's a 10 inch very small so yeah i can't use that so i'm just gonna have to set the camera up when i want to use it i guess or i i do have a um a little tripod thingy that i could carry around so i might be using that or setting it up on that so i'm just gonna set it over here Alright y'all, so I set my camera somewhere else. Hopefully you guys can see me. Ah. Okay, whatever. I don't really care. But I'm going to just put over here um, the screen. I'm going to still try to do it for you guys. Uh, okay, let me open the app, start screen recording. And open the app. So this is what it looks like. What it's like. Okay. Camera Connect would like to use Bluetooth, so I guess it use, I guess it uses Bluetooth. Where did it? Where is it? It's taking all day to load. Let's see. Allow new connections. Okay, maybe I have to do something with the camera, so I'm gonna skip that part. Agree. Skip. Connect your camera and smartphone wirelessly. Give it a try today. Switch to another app while 
connected to the camera via Wi-Fi. The connection might be interrupted. Please take note of this. If you switch to another app while connected to the camera via Wi-Fi, the connection might be interrupted. Okay. I get that. So, location information. Don't know what that means. Camera. Why does it say Roxy? This is my camera. Maybe I need to um, change it in the app or something. Images on camera. This function cannot be used. In okay, so basically I can't use anything on the app until I connect the camera to the Wi-Fi. And then I guess it will work. Okay, whatever. Well, that was basically all with the app. So, I do recommend this camera for starters. Because it's not the best camera, but... It's something to start with so yeah I do recommend it if I were to rate it I would give it a 9 out of 10 the only thing that I would change about it is the quality like I feel like the quality could be better but you get what you pay for so okay so as I'm re-watching the clips just real quick I noticed that it looks like I don't have a shirt on but I do have a shirt on you just can't see it it kind of looks inappropriate but I don't want to refilm it so just ignore it just know that I have on a shirt Okay. All right, y'all. So I am getting tired. It's getting kind of late. It's like it's like ten something here in Illinois. So I have to get in the shower since I'm getting tired. I'm gonna get in the shower and I have to wash my hair for another vlog that I'm doing tomorrow. So I'm gonna wash it for the morning time. I'm gonna dye my hair. But I just wanted you to see the angle from my phone versus my camera. I just wanted you guys to see the difference, like the volume difference and those sorts of things. But I just wanted to give you guys a little update. Um, I did connect my phone to the camera. It's so cool. Like I can control the camera with my phone and all type of things. If you guys want a more detailed video on that, I can give you guys one. But yeah, I'm going to do a vlog and then I'm probably going to go pick up a couple of accessories. Like... A case for it a and another SD card maybe I don't know just get a couple things while I'm out of town and yeah so basically that's the end of this video I hope this video was helpful like I said put in the comments if you guys would want me to make a video um, explaining the app in more detail the app is called once again camera connect and it's really cool I 10 out of 10 recommend it also i forgot to tell you guys like i can save the videos from the camera to my phone so i don't have to use a computer or anything like that because i was kind of stressing about it but i don't gotta do that so yay so i'm just gonna do that stick with that until i get a laptop because eventually i will so that i won't have to keep editing and doing youtube on my phone thank you guys so much for watching make sure you give this video a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe follow all my social medias which will be down in the description box below and i will catch you guys in my next video